What's going on everybody? Welcome to Mary the Film. I'm Ralph and this is Shamanda. Hey! <coughs> right now we're at episode 23 of the final season of Attack on Titan. This one is called Sunset. Shamanda, are you ready? Yes, Ralph. I am ready. Let's go. You can blame Aaron Yeager for everyone we lost when the walls fell. But we know what would have happened to those people if the Titans hadn't been awakened. The invaders would have exterminated them along with everyone else on this island. That's wow. right. Eldian blood was spilled today so that the Eldian Empire could live on. That's the price of victory. Wow. Wow. None of our people died in vain. Of their sacrifice. What are those lunatics in Shiganshina up to? pretty much able to keep up with everything that was going on in the outside world. Because you complain. And then, Armin. my hardening came undone and I was on the floor. Hearing Aaron's voice in my head. Is he seriously doing what he said? Crushing the whole world flat? Armin already told me about the situation you were in. I get it. This is what you wanted to prevent. And a few hundred thousand innocent lives is a small price to pay to save the world, right? No. I never really gave a damn about saving the world. My parents abandoned me when I was born. I was the product of my mother's affair with an Eldian man. They left me inside the gates of the internment zone. A foreigner with Eldian blood found me there and took me in. He wanted to mold me into one of Marley's warriors, use me as his ticket to a better life. Wow. Oh, oh, oh! Even in my earliest memories, that man was already beating the martial arts of his homeland into me. That was my only value to him. He said that becoming a warrior was the reason I was given life. As I grew up, I got stronger, just like he'd hoped I would. And I paid him back for all the pain he'd caused me in the process. I gave him a limp that'll stay with him for the rest of his life. Uh oh. And yet, I'd never seen him look happier. Now I know you can kill, he said, even unarmed. He didn't care about securing his place as an honorary Marleyan. He just wanted to know that I'd make it back. In that moment, I knew that we really were family. That when he looked at me, he saw his daughter. So now, I have a father waiting for me to come home. Aaron Yeager is on his way with an army of titans to kill everyone here! Your home and family and everything you care for is about to be stomped flat! <sighs> you really expect me to believe a word out of your house by mouths? Wow. You all had the same dream. And what? 
You think we'll just let you through the gate? Do you honestly think we all could have coordinated that somehow? And how do I Sorry, know Dad. that you didn't? Yeah. As a matter of fact, this is beginning to feel like an admission of conspiracy. Round them all up. Get on your knees. Hands behind your heads. Wow. He said hands behind your head. <laughs> Promise me you'll return. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's all I ask. Okay. I promise, Dad. <sighs> I'm too old for exile. I don't want to have to shit outdoors on some lonely mountain. <laughs> You've been eaten alive if not for you, sir. We won't leave you now. That's right. No matter what happens next, we'll fight to keep you safe. Why do you think I rolled over and let a bunch of wimpy tots like you pretend you had the grit to kick my ass? <laughs> keep your heads down. Do exactly as the Jaegerists say. He can't go through with this. So yeah, I'll tell Connie that his mom might need to stay a Titan forever. So what will we do about Aaron? How the hell should I know? Who says there's anything we can do? Okay. Not only are Hanji and the captain probably dead right now, but if we get on Flock's bad side, we might get to join them. Let's see, what else? Oh right, Annie's probably back in action. His story is probably in danger right now, along with the Azuma Bito clan. Niccolo and the volunteers from Marley? It's too much! There's no point in worrying about Aaron! We can't stop him! He's a lost cause! Why can't you understand that? <gasps> <gasps> if you were talking to Commander Erfin right now, mm. there's no way he would have snapped at you like that. But you're not him. I guess we know for a fact now. Captain Levi saved the wrong person. No! He should have chosen Erfin. My scarf. <gasps> it's gone. Mm. Who got to... Aaron came and got Mia. Uh, Tell her your real take name. Take care, okay? My name isn't actually Mia. Thank you. Know. you. It's Gabi. Gabi Brown. Huh? That sounds so weird. Bet you wish your name was Mia. Huh? <laughs> See you, Kaya. Oh. Goodbye, Gabi. Oh. I'm not gonna cry. That was weird. <laughs> Last I checked, this island didn't have a king, so who the hell nominated you to act like one? Ah! So glad you asked, John. All right, people, listen up! Who the hell do you think you are? I'll die hey, before you're about to the up! This man kept his pride to the end. He refused to submit no matter what. To him, dignity was worth dying for. Get over. Somebody kill this punk. Lock him up. Yes, sir! Look at me, this Wait, what's going on here? Jean, what just happened? I'm taking action on Aaron's behalf. He has his hands full solving problems outside of the island right now. Mm -hmm. So I'm wiping out whatever resentment is left within it. Do you know what happened to Captain Levi and Commander Hanji? Uh, unfortunately, they were killed by Zeke. Connie. What the I heck? I appreciate you helping me. But, um, aren't we still going north? I mean, look. The sun's setting over there. That's for the best. We need to get as far from the south as we can. It's dangerous. With any luck, the hospital I'm taking you to will be able to treat your amnesia. I found you all by yourself collapsed on the ground. It's true, all right? He well, looked I'm weird. a soldier, so it's only natural that I would do what I could. That's right. I've become a soldier. Just wait a little bit longer, Mom. I've become a soldier. And now... Thanks so much, Connie. You've really gone out of your way for me. Man. I'm grateful. You gonna have to turn around. It's nothing. I'm lucky I was found by such a good person. Oh my god. But I need to get back south somehow. Yeah. I remember everything up to when I met Colton Gobby. Uh oh. But everything after that is a blur. Wow. Also. What? This Connie guy. I feel like I've seen him somewhere before. <gasps> Still, if he doesn't know me, then maybe that's just my imagination. What'll our forces be able to do? Is there any real hope? Can these titans be stopped? No. But still, Hi, we'll Jake. struggle against the inevitable for as yeah. long as we can. Excuse me! <laughs> whoa, whoa, wait! No need to eat me, okay? I'm not a threat. I didn't even bring any weapons. Oh, wondering who I've got over there? Yeah, he's not a threat either. Honest. He's just a poor bastard who refuses to die. <laughs>
the wild. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Yep, we knew he was alive. Okay, um, real quick, Annie thought out, um, and we, we found out that she was able to hear every conversation that was had around her, because she's a, uh, between, I think, uh, Armin and uh, whoever, the, the girl, whoever her, whatever her name was, they would always come down and talk. So she was caught up on everything that had taken place. She talked about her upbringing and wanted to get back to her father. And uh, her father may have been shot by the guards as they were trying to escape. Um, was that John or Flock that went crazy? And killed uh, um, the guy. Flock. Flock. He's on one, man. Um, Connie is taking Falco to be eaten by his mother. And Armin is trying to get there to, to stop him. Um, it's getting crazy. Only a few episodes left. Simone, do you got anything to add? No. All right, we'll see y'all on the next one. Bye. Hey, wake up.